Hey spicy food fans, today I'm sharing a review of Roland Sriracha Chili Sauce. I'm working through a series of reviews of different sriracha alternatives, basically anything I can get my hands on. As you probably know, we're in the middle of a two year long sriracha shortage and Hoi Fong is selling for like crazy prices right now on Amazon and eBay. So subscribe to be sure that you catch all of the latest Sriracha alternative reviews. Plus, I've got a playlist of probably about seven or eight different Sriracha alternatives already, so be sure to check that out if you're looking for something good. Now this one I just found at my regular grocery store, I didn't order it online, but I can't say I've ever heard of Roland. I don't think I've ever tried any of their hot sauces before, but maybe I just live under a rock. Uh, the first ingredient on here is salted red chili pepper, which is kind of interesting to me because to me it implies that it is a fermented hot sauce and Hui Pong Sriracha is also a fermented hot sauce. And it's that process of fermentation that gives hot sauces a really great depth of flavor. Basically, you take chili peppers and salt and you mash them together or you coarsely process them together and you let that mixture sit for about a week if you're making it homemade. After it ferments for about a week, then you mix all of the other ingredients in and make the hot sauce. As expected, this one obviously also has sugar and garlic and it also has acetic acid, lactic acid, citric acid, and ascorbic acid as the acidifiers rather than vinegar, where acetic acid is basically the acidic component of vinegar, but they're not quite exactly the same. So technically this one is a no vinegar hot sauce. This one's ingredient list is a lot more complicated than some of the srirachas I've tried, like the yellow birds. It has xanthan gum, and potassium sorbate as well, which are preservatives. So if you prefer a simpler ingredients list, this one might not be for you. Anyway, I have very few expectations coming in and trying this because again, I've never heard of the brand. So hopefully it's a good one. Let's give it a try. It does smell kind of Kind of sweet actually. It smells a little bit sweeter than I'm used to and less sharp maybe. The consistency is really just about the same as the Hoi Fong Sriracha. I'm not a fan of this one straight off the spoon. It is very salty. It's not particularly like sour of vinegar or the different acids this one has since it doesn't have vinegar. It's maybe a little hotter than sriracha, but just eating it off the spoon, it is like so, so salty. It's kind of probably even saltier than the Trader Joe's sriracha that I tried, but it's not as like bright and vinegary as that one. So I would assume this one would be much tastier eaten with food. Obviously when you, typically when you have sriracha, you're not just like slurping it off a spoon, but plain and straight, I would give this one maybe a three out of 10, just because it's such a punch in the face with that salt. So if you like saltier sauces and sauces that aren't quite as vinegar or acid forward, you might like this one. If you're sensitive to salt, this one to me isn't particularly well balanced on that front. Thanks so much for tuning in. I still got a ton of sriracha's left on my shelf, so be sure to subscribe if you want to check out all of the sriracha reviews I'm coming out with in this series.